And I just wanted to give a quick and brief testimony how the Bible memorization ministry started in India. My dad, Pastor Gali, was a Hindu devotee, but he was possessed with demons. And he visited all Hindu temples, but the Hindu priests told him that he has to suffer, there is no hope for him. So with no hope in his life, he addicted to all bad habits because the only thing that he heard from the Hindu priest is that he has to suffer because it is his karma. But one day, one of his friends told him about Jesus Christ, but my dad simply rejected because he told him, we have a million gods and why should I worship Jesus? But that night, Jesus appeared to him in a dream and said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And the next day, he went to his friend and told him that I heard this voice and I saw Jesus in the vision. And his friend told him that verse is in the Bible, and he gave him a New Testament Bible to read. When he started to read the Bible, that's when the demons in him were troubled, and they could not stay in him. Then he realized there is power in the Word of God. So whenever the demons used to come and trouble him, he used to read the Bible. Most of the time, the demons used to come in the nighttime. So whenever the demons used to come in the nighttime, he used to switch on the light to read the Bible. But at that time, my grandmother, my dad's mother was a Hindu devotee, so she did not allow him to switch on the light. In fact, she threw the Bible out of the house. That's when he got an idea. If I can memorize the Word of God and keep it in my heart, then the demons would not come to me. That's how his memorization started. And by the grace of God, today he has memorized over 5,000 scriptures in English. All of those uh, verses, while he was reciting, uh, we made videos and they were uploaded on YouTube channel. Just to encourage people like you who wanted to memorize God's word, that it is real and it is possible. And uh, yeah, by the grace of God, he taught us the same. I was saved uh, in a family prayer. We sat for a family prayer, and uh, suddenly the Holy Spirit came upon me. I was weeping, weeping, and weeping. And since that day, the Lord has increased my desire for his word. So I started to read the Bible every day, like 30 to 50 chapters. And while I was reading Matthew 28, 19, 20, the Lord spoke to me very clearly that uh, I go unto nations to preach the gospel. So I dedicated my life for Christ and decided to come into full-time ministry. And at the age of 14, I went to the Bible college. But uh, I had a lot of time from the age of 14 to 21. I spent a lot of time in memorizing the scriptures and uh, meditating them. We not only just memorize the scripture, but we recite them daily. And uh, as we recite them, the Lord has taught to worship Him according to His Word and to pray according to His Word. That practice really blessed my spiritual life. Recently, I completed memorizing the book of Revelation, uh, 22 chapters. You know, it is such a great blessing to meditate God's Word day and night. And I just want to remind a couple of things uh, uh, so you can be encouraged. We know as human beings, even though we are Christians, go to the church, many times we do err, we do mistakes, we make wrong decisions, and that will really impact our lives and our families. The solution for that, to make right decisions, to go in the right way, uh, to do the things that are correct, Jesus said in Matthew 22, 29, Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. How many times in our lives we have realized when we have done something wrong, and later on, oh, if I would have done that, if I would not have made the decision, how good it would have been. But we have made mistakes, and it really costed us. We have made those mistakes because we did not know the word of God. So Jesus said, 
you do err, not knowing the Scriptures, not the power of God. The power of God is in the Word of God. So if we can know the Scriptures, if we can hide the Scriptures in our lives, we will not do err, and our life will be a great blessing, not only to us, but to many other people. And we are hearing this verse from the morning, Psalm 119.11, King David said, Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. So keeping God's word in our hearts helps us to live a holy life, pure life, because the word of God is pure, and our God is holy, and the Spirit of God is called the Holy Spirit. So the word of God is holy and pure. So when we can keep that holy and pure word of God in our hearts, it will keep our heart holy and it will keep our thoughts holy. And that's how we can be holy as our God is holy in all behavior. So may the Lord help us to continue to keep his word. And I encourage you to recite the word while you are walking, while you are traveling, because when you meditate the Word of God, that's when you enjoy the sweetness of the Word of God. That's when you can taste the Word of God. If you ask me, what is the taste of a banana? Or if you ask me, what is the taste of an apple? What would I say? I will simply say it is sweet, but you cannot understand that unless you taste it. In the same way, I cannot express how much blessing it is to keep God's word unless you experience it. So I want you to continue to taste it, enjoy it. May the Lord bless us to keep his word, hide his word in our hearts. God bless you all.